Um, so I was really excited to learn a little bit more about some of the other organizations that are raising awareness uh, about menstrual hygiene. Um, particularly, uh, Emila was just speaking about um, how they talk a lot about the biological uh, changes that happen in both boys and girls at the same time, which I thought was a really interesting approach because instead of just focusing on menstruation and this is something girls go through, um, she said that it's more equalizing to be able to talk about both uh, changes at the same time. Uh, and it's really, really interesting to hear more about, you know, how do they try to uh, get rid of the um, taboo and also, you know, allow uh, the hashtag no shame to kind of perpetuate. So that was really, really interesting. And then in addition, um, I'm really excited to be here as well on behalf of Sati. Uh, we're making compostable sanitary pads, which is just one of the many solutions that are out there that are supposed to uh, promote sustainable menstruation. And uh, I think there's some really interesting products out there uh, that really give women a choice to switch, you know, whatever they're comfortable with. If they're comfortable with a menstrual cup, that's fine, or, you know, a disposable product, they can still use that and still have a sustainable uh, method for dealing with periods. Um, and we really are focusing a lot on the cradle to cradle aspect of how we develop the product as a manufacturer, uh, which is something I think we'll, we'll be talking a lot more about um, in the panel as well. Uh, so I'm excited to hear everyone's views on that.